suppose we talk about a masterpiece in the two-wheel sector. Then obviously, one of the best innovator manufacturers can be said to fall on the wing team, namely Honda. Because, as we know, Honda always success manages to hit the world with its newest engine starting from the 1950s and even up to 2005. Actually, until now, although not as exciting as the innovations used to be. But even so, here we want to talk about one of Honda's best years of innovation. To be precise, in 1992. As undoubtedly many of you already know, in 1992, Honda has also made a motorbike with a unique design, and this is NR750. It is one of the legendary motorbikes that has always been discussed until now. The beginning of the emergence of the Honda NR750 came from the Honda NR500 as a vehicle created by Honda to compete in the World GP. Here is the beginning of the uniqueness of the NR500 was born. Because, at that time, another manufacturer uses a 500cc two-stroke engine. On the other side, Honda is still loyal to using a 500cc four-stroke engine. Of course, this condition will make it difficult for Honda to compete with the other team. So, to realize this and solve the complicated problem faced by Honda, the engineers from the Honda team were forced to make an unusual breakthrough, namely by creating an oval-shaped piston by combining two. Can't you imagine how crazy was people's response at that time when they heard a crazy idea from Honda? How could they make an idea that really out of the box? Because actually, before developing this oval piston, Honda had experimented with an 8-cylinder engine with a capacity of 530cc and this was tried in a training session and got results that were considered entirely satisfactory. But, due to regulations that limited the number of cylinders to four pistons, Honda closed the project and switched to developing the oval piston engine. And go back to the discussion about the oval pistons. Not only is the shape out of line, but the number of valves is also really unusual. Because, with these larger pistons, each piston is equipped with eight valves per cylinder, consisting of four intake and exhaust holes, and also two connecting rods for each piston. And can you imagine how much friction can be produced by this engine? An ordinary material will be strong enough to last long from any power created. That is why the material used in this motorbike is also very premium. For example, the piston is made of duralium and magnesium. Then there is titanium material for the conrod and valves, and it is also equipped with dual radiators that use aluminum. And this engine comes with a four oval piston, 32 valves, eight spark plugs, eight conrods, and eight intake and exhaust ports. This engine configuration of this engine using the V4 cylinder 90 degree with DOHC combined with an overbore engine character with a relentless size for the overbore size. The piston length is 101.2 millimeters times 50.6 millimeters multiplied by the stroke of 42 millimeters, making this engine as unique because it does not exist in other manufacturers. So let's continue into the body. To perfect this engine, which believed that the bodywork sector is also maximized by using carbon fiber materials, you could say at that time, this technology was still very premium, sophisticated, and rare. And because of the premium sophistication and rarity of the bodywork, this bodywork is also not done carbon completely, but there is also fiberglass, alloy, and titanium. Okay, now we talk about the output power. This bike has enough power to compete with a two-stroke engine. It can produce 125 horsepower at 14,000 RPM. And also, to increase max power, Honda set up the red line up to 23.000 revolutions per minute. Besides that, this motorbike has a torque of 66 Nm at 11,000 RPM, and the weight of this motorbike is around 244 kg. The engine configuration is complicated and complex, starting from the crankshaft to the head. But even though it is heavy, this engine can still produce a top speed that is relatively fast at 257 km per hour. Although it is clear that we don't need to calculate it, just by predicting it, we can already imagine the acceleration will be a bit slow when we remember the weight. Let's continue to other sectors. 
On the other hand, this motorbike uses a suspension from a well-known suspension manufacturer, namely Showa, with the front suspension using an upside-down 45mm aluminum suspension. Swing arm also uses aluminum material with mono arm type. Then, to minimize the weight, Honda also equips the motorbike with a twin spar, aluminum alloy beam frame wrapped with scratch-resistant titanium, then gets the shoes from this motorbike. This motorbike is also equipped with aluminum alloy wheels and tires from the Michelle RX radio. Of course, it will further add to the exoticism of this motorbike, so it's not wrong if many people say that this motorbike is like a two-wheeled Ferrari. But it's a shame because you have to fight a two-stroke motorbike that clearly won't be balanced if compared with a four-stroke engine. This motorbike has never been at the peak of victory, and when Honda realized the severity of the competition, the oval piston Honda finally chose to sell. Initially, it was a problem as an exclusive motorbike, and when the NR750 motorbike was born and produced, this motorbike was only produced in as many as 300 units and reportedly circulating at that time. This motorbike was priced at a fantastic price of 5,000 US dollars. Besides that, all oh, these motorbikes deserve appreciation because Honda dared to come by emphasizing the creativity of genius and the engineer's madness. In the two-wheel sector, in maintaining belief in its four-stroke philosophy, Honda has created a motorbike with quality and love that we cannot underestimate as world automotive lovers. Okay, that's all the information we can give in this video. If there are suggestions for criticism, questions, feel free to discuss on the comment column below. I'm Courier, and see you again.